Egypt. Um, one of the reasons is because in Egypt there are literally millions of people. You can't do consensus with the million people living. It's just impossible. So they, they use the majority rule or the democratic rule, I guess, uh, majority wins. And they made decision on uh, almost a daily basis, like should we hold this or should we retreat? Should we, you know, uh, agree to the, the this concession or should we uh, resist it and so forth? So I'm hoping that somehow we we, we can uh, overcome uh, the city council restrictions because right now it feels like we're getting less and less people here every day and. And we're waiting for their permission to yeah. give us. It's kind of getting ridiculous. Like we either need to find a new place and rebuild, or we're gonna have to fight the cops and like go all out and maybe get violent. I was proud. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that that's a big thing. Is like um, okay. So I, I agree with this idea that that Tahrir Square became like a, a an important symbol, especially when the internet was shut down and everything. It's like. It became the way by which a person could know, is the revolution winning today or not? And that would be like, are the people still in the square? Okay, they're still there, we're still winning. <laughs> and um, and uh, I think that that's, I think that like, especially in a police state, uh, where, where the police are even worse in people's daily lives than they are here, um, uh, it's, it's uh, that's a, just, just existing like that is a, is a, a real show of strength, right? It's a real show of defiance. I think that one thing that gets the, the so-called couch people is, is there, I mean, I think that there's like, I think in this country even, you know, right now the, 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 the polls say that only 9% of the country approves of the job that Congress is doing. And, you know, there's this, this incredible, tremendous dissatisfaction with, with things. And, and a huge amount of sympathy for the ideas that the Occupy movement is looking for. But, um, I think that I think that a big thing that happened in Egypt that hasn't happened here really is that people in Egypt could see the protesters winning, and they could see and, and people are more likely to cast in their their lot. Like they're more willing to throw their bodies on the on the line if they feel like you know there's a chance this could actually succeed. Um, and and in Egypt that meant actually fighting and winning physical battles with the with the police and. You know, so far here we've we've committed ourselves to not even engaging in those. And when and when that battle is thrust upon us, then we say, okay, I guess I'll I'll leave, or else you can just arrest me. Or, or yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, it's it's all over as soon as they decide to move on us. But I think that that kind of confrontation with the authorities is is a it's a it's a big important step in showing that you know what this movement is actually strong enough that it can overcome what the authorities throw at us. It's a catch-22 because we need the numbers right. to be able to confront the police. Sure, we won't yeah. get the numbers unless we confront the police and win. And so, and so, even though, even though, even with all that stuff I said, like, I think that it's it's symbolically really important to hold on to this location. I I mean, I just feel like, I, like in my own thought, I, I go back and forth in this every day in my mind. Like, I just feel like, um, you know. It, this idea of, of regrouping does make a lot of sense, like in a, sen in a sense that, like, you know, being able to come back with some kind of large number. If we see ourselves as not just trying to maintain an occupation of the space, but instead trying to build or rebuild a, um, you know, a, a current of a struggle and a, 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 you know, a body of people and, and try to achieve that, achieve that critical mass. I mean, it's clearly where we need to go, and I think the big question is, do we accomplish that better by trying to maintain this place or by or, or by saving our energy for, or, or does, or, or know, I'm sure people are afraid. Like, okay, if we say that you know we're going to leave a civic center, does that mean that everybody, and you know, we say we're going to leave the civic center in order to go back to our computers and and the meetings and meet more people and stuff? Or but maybe the fear is that as soon as we abandon the civic center, everybody will just forget about it all. And, and I have, I have an idea. That, uh, Okay, the, the thing is not that we have to hold on to this place because we are 